Hello, my name is Torsho Feaster. Uh, I attended McGrath Elementary. I went to college here at Eastern Michigan University. Uh, I went on to law school at the University of Dayton, and then I came back home uh, to be a lawyer and to try to help people in my, in my community. Uh, I went to Eastern uh, with the plan of trying to figure out if I was gonna go into law or be a teacher, and I was debating about whether I wanted to go to school for four years or for seven years. And Lord knows, I really wasn't trying to do seven years after high school. I was trying to get into the work field, make some money, and have some fun. I was tired of school, but I said, let me go ahead and try. I didn't know very many lawyers before I went to law school, uh, so I, I thought it was uh, a challenging goal. I, I wasn't sure I was going to make it, but I said, I'm going to do my best, put everything that I could into it, and it worked out for me. I ended up becoming a lawyer, and now I'm able to serve our community and help people. Uh, like I said, I'm a public defender, and I'm actually a candidate now for judge running for 14A District Court Judge. That's the entire county of Washtenaw, uh, minus the city of Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti Township. So now I'm here to read some books to the kids. So I'm thankful to be here. Thank you all for having me. Let's get to the book I chose. This book is Gorilla, Gorilla. So I'm interested in this one. <laughs> all right, this is by uh, Jane Wills, Wills and Tony Ross. A mother mouse's baby has gone missing. She went up to the mouth. She went up the mountain. Down the mountain. Round and round the rainforest, but she still couldn't find him. The rainforest was very, very big, and the baby was very, very small. The mouse thought she'd lost him forever. Just, just when things couldn't get any worse. Out jumped a great, big, hairy, scary ape. Gorilla, gorilla, she squeaked. Help me, help me. He'll catch me. He'll squash me. He'll scratch me. He'll mince me. He'll mash me and crunch me up for lunch. Stop, bellowed the gorilla. But the mouse ran and ran over the bridge, over the sea, all the way to China. But the gorilla was never far behind. Who are you running from, mouse? asked Panda. A killer gorilla. Now, how he you know the gorilla a killer? Right. A killer gorilla, she squeaked. Help me, help me, he'll catch me. He'll squash me. He'll scr and, and scratch me. He'll mince me and mash me and crunch me up for lunch. Stop, bellowed the gorilla. But the mouse ran and ran all the way to America. But the gorilla was catching up. Who are you running from, mouse? asked Chipmunk. A killer gorilla, she squeaked. Help me, help me. He'll catch me, he'll squash me and scratch me. He'll mince me and mash me and crunch me up for lunch. Stop, bellowed the gorilla, but the, but the mouse ran and ran. Into a submarine <laughs> under the sea, all the way to Australia, the gorilla had almost caught up. Who are you, who are you running from, mouse? asked Koala. A killer gorilla, she squeaked. Help me, help me. He'll catch me. He'll squash me and scratch me and mince me and mash me and crunch me up for lunch. Stop, bellowed the gorilla. But the mouse ran and ran across the desert, into the submarine, under the, uh, under the sea, across the ice, all the way to, <laughs> to the Arctic. She looked around. She was all alone, except for Stop, he bellowed. The mouse tried to run, but she was too tired. The snow was so thick and she'd run such a long way. The gorilla came closer and closer and closer. The mouse stood still. She shivered and shut her eyes. She wished she could see her, babies, her baby once more before she was eaten. Here he is, said the gorilla. Cradled, cradled in his huge hand was the baby mouse. I found him in the forest, said the gorilla. I was trying to give him back, but you wouldn't stop. Who are you running from, mouse? Shame. The mouse looked into his kind brown eyes and blushed. Oh, nobody you know. Come on, she squeaked. 
I'm not frightened now. Even so, it's a big scary world out there, said Gorilla. Let me carry you home. You'll feel much safer. And the mouse did. That's a shame. The mouse obviously had some uh, preconceived notions of what gorillas were and what this gorilla was going to do to him just because he looked different or was big and hairy and scary. And that's the part of the biggest problem we have in our world today is that too many people are prejudging people based on what they what they see on TV, what they hear in rap music, what they hear where, wherever. And it happens to me all the time and I know it happens to other people out there too. So I'm hopeful that people will stop doing all, this, all the prejudging and being so scared of things they don't understand and give people a chance. And so that's why I picked this book. And uh, I'm also an alpha, so Gorilla kind of went with that too. So I, I'm thankful y'all let me read this book to y'all today. Thank y'all for having me. I had a good time.